here with the flea. Why do we call you flea? Um, flea someone, just, someone just looked at me one day and said, what would you rather be called, the flea or the rat? And I went, the flea, and it just stuck. <laughs> the flea. Mm. The flea. The flea and I are on our way. Effortless. It was straight through it was. There was, what, it took about half hour. Don't believe the media. They sensationalise everything. The Queen's a lizard. The Queen is a lizard. Platy Jube, what is it? Platy Jube. Happy Platy Jube. Yeah. People right. are actually saying that with a straight face. That's what's wrong with this country. Cheers, lad. Cheers, too bitter. That won't make the edit. <laughs> We're in Es Rebus. For a chocolate croissant. It's a little bit better than the shell garage. Time's half 11, I can't check in until like two ish, I think. Half the boys are going to, well, all the boys are going, aren't they? Blue Marlin, yeah. Blue Marlin. So me and Owen are going to go for a late SV chill slash dinner, home change, and hire for black coffee. The last time I was in here, we were over there for Solomon Dixon closing party, banging in here. Well, good. It feels a bit weird being in a place that is also a club. Change your plan. Blue Marlin. Make a mental note of not doing the early morning flight to Ibiza next time. It ruins you. I had to get up at half one to get to the airport for like 2.30. Didn't go to bed till 12. So I had an hour and a half sleep and then it just ruins it. But Blue Marlin was sick yesterday. It was so good. I think I'll go far as to say it's better than Ocean. I, I find it anyway. Much better vibe there. Real good. Plan was to go to Hire. I don't know if any of my lot went to Hire. There's a situation with the cabs out here at the moment, they're non-existent. So we was waiting outside Blue Marlin in a queue for an hour, no cabs came. I was like that. Then we was like, right, we start, start walking, three hour walk, obviously we didn't walk it, but we were just stopping cap, like stopping random cars, 100 euros to just get into like Bossa. And then I was like, I've got to get back to Destino. It's annoying I'm here, it's a well nice hotel, it's a proper nice little resort, but Usually I stay in the town and I just walk to meet the boys. I can't do that now. And the cabs are taking ages. So today I'm gonna, I'm gonna pack a bag for Glitterbox if we're going. Go to Cotton Beach, go back to Josh's, change there as opposed to coming back here because it's, you're doing it. 20 past nine, I'm gonna go for some breakfast. I'm gonna sunbathe until like 12, then get ready. <laughs> Brief tour if anyone's interested in staying in Destino. Got a couple of pools, got a stage there, infamous Tox Club, and the breakfast. The breakfast is very, very good. I wasn't supposed to be staying here. I got transferred up because Pasha weren't ready, the, uh, the hotel weren't ready. Typ typical Spanish. But it's a little bit further out from the town and it takes about 15 minutes to get in, I say. Nah, about 10, 10 to 15 minutes. But the, the cabs are a little annoying, so if you if you need to be somewhere, you leave yourself a good bit of time. We've both got autism, haven't we? <laughs> Hi guys, we're off to Glitterbox. Okay, see you there. Day three. How was last night for you, Owen? It was unreal. How good was it? Yeah. You have to go Glitterbox. It's like, it's like when you get ready to go for a night out and you put on a playlist of all the best songs for five hours. I didn't move. I couldn't move. You were flying. <laughs> couldn't move my legs, it was like Lego. We are, it's 4.35, we just had some food. And uh, we're gonna do DC 10 a little bit different this time. We're gonna go slightly earlier when it's sunny. Go for like seven, eight. And then, yeah. 
Anything to add? Okay. Let's go to DC 10. It's like that Jeremy Corbyn clip, you know, when he walks down the stairs after election, right? We're back and we're ready to do it all again. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you like Prince Andrew. It's our final day. We have una mosque mule. Tres cerveza. <sighs> feeling, feeling it a bit today, I must be honest. Didn't do much yesterday. Went to uh, the fish shack. Any any fish <laughs> any fish any fish lovers, I'd highly recommend you go there. Quite possibly some of the nicest sea bass and prawns I've ever had. And uh, yeah, that was it really. Had a chilled one. Flight, flight home at quarter past nine. This is a great way to round off a holiday to make you feel better. We're doing an ur. Thirty. Gotta get my eyebrows done. Yeah. <laughs> get waxed. Hollywood. Got thirty minutes. I'm gonna get thirty minutes. Body. Still struggling a bit after that. What a great time on the island. That was probably one of the best ones I've, I've been on. It was incredible. Did it slightly differently. Usually we do, like we'll have a, a bit of dinner before we go out, but I think because we were just out for lunches, went to Bloom Island, went to Cotton Beach, all, the, all we did was go home. That was like our one meal of the day, which was like sufficient. Got home, changed, and then went back out. DC10 was good, it wasn't too overcrowded. A couple of people said like, oh, they've ruined it. It was absolutely fine. We went to Circo Loco Monday, and then Glitterbox on that Sunday was like my favorite day. It was incredible. It was one of those things where by like half, half five, six in the morning, we were like, should we go now? Another song comes on. Oh, let's go. Another song com comes on. Vicious cycle. But it was great. I'm looking to try and get, get back out there a couple of times this year. Because I really want to go go back. It was it was good. I think short and sweet the better. So I think the next time we shoot over, do like a Friday to a Monday sort of thing, and switch up a little bit. Didn't go to Solomon on that Sunday because we went to Glitterbox. So I want to go and see him, and also got to do Ants Uswire because we didn't do that this year. Anyway, any questions on like IB for anything? Drop a message below. I'll see you very soon. We're kind of entering that phase of how to stay lean during summer. So there'll be a lot more content, a lot more lifestyle content over the next few weeks, kind of diving into tips on how to manage nutrition and training whilst having that social life, because I feel like the cut, the cut's pretty much done and dusted. I'm quite, quite happy where I'm at the moment with regard to my physique. So looking forward to just getting rid of this cold, <coughs> getting rid of this cold, get back in the gym and cracking on. So thank you very much for watching this vlog. I know it's a bit short, I always have like good intentions when I start filming and then I'm on holiday, I'm like, oh shit, got to get my phone out, got to do a few clips in here, so I need to be a little bit more consistent, but, you know, there you go. Anyway, hope you're all having a lovely summer. Thanks for watching. I'll see you very soon. Thank you, good night. Much love. <clears throat>